Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've been having discussions about bots lately, and it's a topic that's been coming up a lot because good old master, the TDS, over on Twitter has been catching these companies and the bots that they've been using. And honestly, it's pretty damn telling what's been going on with a lot of these companies. Now, Sweet Baby Inc., a company that's been quiet for weeks now, ever since Black Girl Gamers took the heat for them, because I really think that's what happened, they have apparently been caught along with good old Alan Wake 2 using bots to try to boost their sales. Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, bots and Twitter should not be something that's shocking to anybody, right? If you guys look on Twitter, you can pretty much catch a bot very easily based off the style of which they write something. And you'll start to notice the trend of all of these different profiles that all of are verified, by the way. You're going to see all of these profiles saying the same exact thing with maybe one or two words twisted differently to try to make it sound different. But ultimately, they are all saying the same thing. And them using it for Alan Wake 2, not too shocking considering that Alan Wake 2 did not sell anywhere near as good as the first couple. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. So just, just uh, to preface really quick, guys, make sure you guys go follow the master of the TDS over on Twitter. I'm going to leave his uh, profile in the description box below. I want to make sure he gets all the credit for this. The Sweet Baby Inc. influence Alan Wake 2 is allegedly using bots. According to social media analyst, the master of the TDS, he hosts the Gothic Therapy YouTube channel, Shared to X. Alan Wake 2, a game known to be one of the games Sweet Baby Inc. was involved in, received an update on March 6th of 2024 that lowered the official minimum system requirements for the game to run on PC. He continued, it would seem that someone attached to Remedy Entertainment may have been worried about the success of the game after Chris Kindred went after Cabrutus on February 26th of 2024. To promote the game along with the update, it seems that bots were deployed to praise the system requirement changes, allowing them to run the game on their potato computers. Seems there might be a system error in SBI's bank accounts. He then shared numerous accounts repeating similar phases uh, regarding Remedy Entertainment lowering their minimum GPU requirements to GeForce GTX 1070 and Radeon RX 5600 XT, which Remedy announced on March 6th. Now, I'm not too surprised, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, that they're going to lower the requirements because they're trying to open up the uh, gates for as many people to join as humanly possible. And considering that it didn't sell as much, I would imagine that lowering the requirements is going to allow them to try to get some more customers they probably wouldn't have, have access to. Plus, putting the game on sale, a combination of the two, might get some more people buying the game. Who really knows at the end of the day? But let's go over some of these tweets here to see exactly what's happening with this nonsense because, honestly, Master of TDS does a great job, great, great job compiling it all together and showcasing the different tweets. So you're going to say... I'm excited to hear that Alan Wake 2 has updated its minimum requirements to be optimized for older gaming rigs. This opens up the game to a wider audience, allowing more players to experience a thrilling storytelling and immersive gameplay. Can't wait to dive in. There's that can't wait. There's that can't wait, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, like these bots, they love saying can't wait. Can't wait. That's what they... <laughs> I'm laughing because we say it on Hypnocast every day at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We say literally that these bots always say the same thing. Immersive gameplay, thrilling storytelling, can't wait to dive in. They always say these things and they, they bunch it up with a whole bunch of other things. This person says, yes, finally, my ancient potato PC can run Alan Wake 2. I can finally dust off my old PC and join in on, on Alan Wake 2. Good news for my old PC. Finally, I can join the Alan Wake 2 fun train. Finally, my potato PC can run Alan Wake 2. I'm thrilled to hear that Alan Wake 2 is finally acknowledging that not all of us have a top of the line computer. Great news. I can finally dust off my ancient PC and join the Alan Wake party. Exciting times ahead. Finally, my old potato PC can handle a game. Time to dust off the keyboard and get... get bro, nobody talks like this, man. Nobody talks like this. Look, another person. Finally, my ancient potato PC can handle something more than Minesweeper. Time to get my game on. Nobody talks like this, man. <laughs> this is such... Man, great job, Master of TDS. I, I honestly... I find comedy in these bots. I really do because... You got to imagine how many real people are out there reading these comments and genuinely probably arguing with these bots and thinking that they're real, not being able to spot the differences, the key 
differences between a bot and a human being. Nobody speaks like this. And the fact that so many of these people have said they have potato PCs. I mean, come on, man, really? And then they're like, oh, time to dust off the keyboard and get gaming. Nobody says that, bro. Nope. Oh, my God. Then it's look. Finally, my old clunky computer can keep up with the new game requirements. Time to play. Finally, my toaster can handle Alan Wake 2. Time to dust off the old gaming rig. It's just the same comments spun across to be literally like they just shift words. That's what they do. They shift the words around to make it seem as if they're different comments, but they're not. They're all literally the same comments. Look, you got this person, Yasmin. As a user, I'm excited to hear that the PC requirements for Alan Wake 2 have been updated to be optimized for older gaming rigs. This means more gamers will be able to enjoy the game without having to upgrade their system. Literally the same thing that the first person said. Same thing the first person said, just with a couple of different words. That's it. Then you got the comments here. Finally, now my potato PC can hand handle Alan Wake 2 without crashing every five minutes. Finally, now I don't have to sell my kidney to play Alan Wake 2. Awesome news. Finally, I won't have to sell a kidney to play Alan Wake 2. You literally have two people saying the same exact thing. Word for word, the same exact thing. Come on, man. This is, this is a great find, and we need to have more discussion about these bots because we have to expose these companies for their fake-ass engagement, right? Like, they're so busy ignoring the fans. They're so busy attacking the fans. They're so busy alienating their, their fan base and giving them up for ESG that they're willing to fake fans in order to make it seem to their investors that there is a lot of engagement for a game, right? This is what they sell to their investors. You guys realize this, right? If you are an investor in a game like this, I hope this opens your eyes, right? Because you got to understand they're selling you bullshit. They're selling you a fake story. You probably got more money than sense, to be honest with you. They're selling you a fake story there is not real fans for this game and if there are they're few and far between there is a hell of a lot more bots faking engagement there's a hell of a lot more bots uh spinning a false narrative on twitter and you have clear evidence right here and there's multiple pages of it there's three posts of multiple fucking pages of the same exact thing going on with the bots so we need to call this out we need to make sure make sure that the story gets out there because the more that the story gets out there the more these companies are not going to be able to do this very easily and like i mentioned in all my other videos all of these bots are verified ladies and gentlemen that means that whatever company is in charge of these bots is paying eight dollars per month minimum to verify these bots so that they maximize their engagement potential that's how much money there is because think about how much money they're investing if they're investing that much money across thousands of bots how much money are they getting in return to employ their services they must be getting a lot of money and it must be profitable so there's a lot going on here there's a lot going on behind the scenes and i hope master the tds continues to do what he's doing He's definitely found his calling, busting these terrible ass bots over on Twitter and exposing these companies for the shills that they are. They're obviously faking their entire way. And we need to make sure that the mainstream uh, gaming people know that. Like we need to make sure that normies know that and also gamers as well. Everybody needs to know what's going on and the truth has to be exposed. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.